I grind my teeth at night. My dentist told me I needed a mouth guard. It was going to cost several hundred dollars and I bought them and they've worn out or my teeth have changed and I've needed to get a new one. I found a way to make a customized mouth guard for my mouth for just one dollar. I'm Steve from MoneySmartFamily.com and I'm going to show you how. So keep watching. Money Smart Family. Before we get to the how-to part of making this mouth guard, make sure you subscribe to our channel. So hit the little subscribe button down on the lower corner. And leave a comment afterwards if you think this is a crazy idea or if you have a question about mouth guards. So what I normally do is go to Walmart. They have mouth guards ranging in price from $12.99 down to my favorite, Wilson, for $0.97. Cents. I grab one of these and we're good to go. There's five steps to customizing a mouth guard to your mouth. I'm going to show you the first four and then we're going to trim it. That's the fifth step and that's something that I've done for myself. The first step is you boil water and we've got the water boiling as you can see. And what you do when it's boiling is you turn it off. You turn it off for about 30 seconds to let it cool down a little bit. You want to have some tongs handy to be able to retrieve your mouth guard out of the boiling water. Next you take the mouth guard out of its package and you can see they're just pretty plain and simple. Now they're going to shrink a little bit when you put them in the water, so you have to kind of watch it. But you set it in, and you count to 30. And when it's ready, you're going to pull it out. You're going to put it in your mouth after it cools just for a few seconds. Bite down and suck the air out. And that will help it form completely to your mouth. You hold it in your mouth for about 30 seconds, and then you're done. Now, I won't be able to talk to you while it's in my mouth, so... I will show you what it looks like in just a few more seconds. Now it's shrinking. And there it is. Now you don't want to put it in your mouth right away because it's pretty hot. You want to get it centered. Open it up a little bit. Bite and chuck. And that's it. It's custom fit to my mouth. And now we're going to trim it down because if I put it in my mouth and try and talk, you sound like this. I can't talk very well because it's kind of bulky. And it also moves around a little bit in my mouth. It would be hard to sleep with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I trim the front down and trim the back down so it minimizes the amount of contact in my mouth and it makes it a lot easier to sleep with. So this is my old mouth guard. And you can see compared to the new one, I trimmed down quite a bit. Um, of the edges and I'm going to show you how I do that right now. So I start back here with the scissors and then we're going to come in with a Dremel or sandpaper and just smooth it out. But you want to make it as small as possible so you can keep it in your mouth all night long. But we're going to sand it because that uh, those edges can be a little bit sharp. So you just come up here and you know what you'll do, uh, we'll cut this down now and maybe a day or two from now I'll cut it again just because I want to get it perfect. Okay, and then I'll cut the inside also. All this isn't necessary, it, very little is necessary to keep it in your mouth at night. Let's see, coming this way. I need a pair of left-handed scissors. And what you'll see is once you get it trimmed down, once you get it trimmed down, you can actually breathe easier and you can talk easier and you can swallow easier. Okay, so that's the rough trim. And then I'll clean up this with um, a little X-Acto knife. And we'll sand the edges. Okay, just be careful because these can be sharp. hard to cut this inside edge with a scissor. Okay, so that's all trimmed. And now we'll go sand it down with the Dremel. It took about oh, two minutes of sanding with a 60 grit Dremel sanding disc to get this smoothed out so that it wouldn't cut the inside of my mouth. Uh, you could use sandpaper, you could use a file, uh, there's a number of ways you could smooth it out, but you do want to do that so that it doesn't hurt your mouth. All right, so now we rinse it, and we see how it fits. So 
So this is my old mouth guard. This is the pre-trim one. And this is the final trimmed one. By the way, I soak these mouth guards in alcohol every night. Uh, but they do turn yellow over time, and so that's when you know it's time to replace them. So this one is pre-trimmed. And it makes it very difficult to talk. This one, much easier to talk. It still is a little bit hard, but it stays on my teeth and it will protect my teeth at night. So that's how you make a $200 mouth guard for $1. If you like this video, leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you know the next time we put up a video. We're always here trying to save you money. If you want to save even more money, watch these videos next.